Okay, here we go. Here's a new project I got going on. Uh, for all those people that do follow me on a lot of crazy stuff I do and all. Um, what this is is a little pedal car that was in my mother's barn for many, many years. And <clears throat> through time and lack of abuse, you know, abuse and just lack of use, it has fallen into a state of disrepair. So I thought for mom's, uh, for Christmas for mom, I'd restore this thing and get it back to new shape. Now I've been looking around for information towards all this stuff, and the funny thing is, there's no videos on YouTube as of now how to restore these things. But they're rather simple to restore. Uh, I've kind of read up and looked about it, so for now, uh, I'm going to get a couple of videos going up on this. So I'll do a series of them to uh, let you guys know. They are rather easy to do, um, but um, still, sometimes if you don't have a lot of experience towards something, it might be best if you let somebody else do it. Um, I snuck it out from Mom's house and got it over here to my shop. And as you can see, the, the wheels are rotted on these. So what I did is I took this to my local John Deere dealer, and we got the numbers. The numbers are on the right-hand side over here. You see past this. You can see it says right there, made by the Ertl Company, Oversville, Iowa, USA, model number D65, DTC-6501. That's some of the most important things you can get right there, is get the information off the unit itself. Now, I'm going to replace all the wheels and tire assemblies, uh, paint it. The, uh, the pedal assembly uh, are easy to come by. I'm going to put, there's the uh, John Deere sticker right here, and I believe a Model 20 goes right here. The steering wheel will be placed, replaced with a round one. It's got a three-spoke design on it. And this will be painted yellow, the John Deere yellow, and a John Deere sticker right there. And right here is where a small trailer I'm going to put on it. Um, wheel and tire assembly, uh, I'm going to try to get them already put together. There's a trick out there, it's already on YouTube, where you can get the tire and the rims disassembled. And what they people ask you to do is go ahead and paint these. Put these in boiling water for about a couple minutes. And you're using big heavy gloves. Take these on. You have this stuck in a, um, there's a little like a, a um, bolt. You'll stick into a vise. And this will be slid down over that. And you take these with gloves on, not to burn yourself. And you, when they get good and hot, they expand and they slip over these rims easily. I'm going to do the cheap way or the easy way and try to get it where the rims are already painted and tires are already assembled. Um, when you do when you do restore these two, you want to look at a nut and bolt kit because as you can see right here, that's not going to be salvaged. Uh, a nut and bolt kit, and it's normally these are pretty cheap and easy to come by. You can see the pedals assembly are just neat little, neat little bolts, and it'll slide straight out. Hopefully, uh, as far as that, all I'm going to have to do is clean it and uh, not going to lube it much, but make sure it's, it's, you know, working. There's a rod that goes down from here from the steering. It goes down an angle, but there's a rod that goes up and down solid, and it's just a little tab, and it just moves it. It's a fairly simple system. It's real, real easy to go by. The paint is the easiest thing to come by on these. And one of the things I'm going to do, too, is use this citrus strip because it is a uh, stripper. I've already checked. It's good with potted metal, which is uh, aluminum. And it's biodegradable, so I could take this. What I'm going to do is after I have it apart, after I have that apart, I'll take it down to the car wash and wash it there. And so they won't give me no boogaboo about it down there. Now the liquid wrench is what I'm going to use to spray on all these nuts and bolts. I'm going to soak them for a day or two to make it easier to take this thing apart. I'm going to spray everything I can get my hands on to make it easier to come apart. 
uh, so little stuff like that's what you start off with on these. And looking on the web, there's a uh, one site, um, I can't think of the guy's name, he takes videos of these little units and posts them on there and what's, what's all the original stuff and all like that on there. And it does help you as far as identifying these and all. But there is some good information and good sites out there. I just hadn't been to them. Uh, I'm going to give my uh, John Deere dealer first chance on getting me the parts. If not, I can always get them offline. But uh, I'll chronicle. Uh, do this and this where it's all together. Uh, I'll take one of it coming apart. Um, that way you guys can get a better idea of these. These are rather simple design and it shouldn't be too hard to uh, to redo. So as many projects and stuff that I've done, uh, it should be easy. Like I said, I'm going to do this for Mom for Christmas. I think she likes antiques and stuff like that, so she'll enjoy this. Uh, the way it is, I've seen these on uh, YouTube for a couple hundred dollars. And uh, when they're restored, they're even more. So, it... Um, like I said, I was kind of disappointed not seeing a, a video of this on YouTube as of yet. But uh, I'm going to chronicle, put a couple of them out there, and I'll show you what it's look like when it's done. So um, that way you folks can have an easier idea of seeing how to do stuff like this. Anyhow, uh, y'all stay tuned. Uh, I'll have them posted, and uh, that's what it'll look like. And... Uh, Enjoy this because these are fun. Uh, kids love them. And like I say, I'm going to put it back together and it's going to look better than new. So uh, stay tuned and watch this and you'll enjoy it. See ya.